Kishaya Ama, you know, Kishaya land. We're the original keepers of this land, this forest that you're in now, you know, that coast that's down there. Yeah, I mean, you, you look out, you look behind us, and everybody sees what they see, but the Kishaya person's looking at utilitary things, you know, the bracken ferns, things for baskets, our grocery stores up there, you know, all the berries that we pick, that we use, our pharmacies on that hillside there, you know, and all the different things that we'd use to heal and stay healthy. I mean, I think the whole conservation community is realizing how the future of land conservation is, it, it, it really rests in connecting people with land. And we have to remember that Native Americans, they're also the people that need to be connected to land too and that have been connected to the land and, and have lost that connection because they don't have their land tenure. Um, so when we think about connecting people to land, being relevant and meaningful to human communities, we have to think about all those human communities. This is about 700 acres of coastal redwood forest on the northern Sonoma County coastline. You know, you're seeing in, you know, in more than 180 degrees uh, the Pacific Ocean out in front of you. Uh, and then you turn around, you walk inland, and you go off the ridge, and, and it's redwood forest. Um, we date back 12,500 years here in the Sonoma coastline. But uh, of course, for us, we believe we walked onto the earth just north of here, at our village of Dunica. People from the top of the land, so yeah, Kashaya folks, and we lived up on top of these ridge tops, uh, seasonal areas down towards the coast, gathering areas. Uh, having, a, having a piece of ocean land that's ours, you know, like I said, restoring our um, uninhibited right to access our coastline for ceremonial and subsistence, and you know, that, that coastline's our university. I feel just really thankful to have the opportunity to be working on this project with the Kashaya. Um, you know, it's not just a story of environmental conservation, important environmental conservation, but it's also a social justice story um, and an opportunity to, to do right and do well. Come down. We have a state, local government, a tribe, a nonprofit environmental organization and private foundations from across the country all coming together to make this project happen. You know, what I hope is that um, not only will the Trust for Public Land be able to kind of build on what we've established here and do more projects with the Kashaya, but, but also that other conservation groups can see what's been accomplished here, get inspired themselves, and uh, and also carry forward that work. Those kind of relationships have been not only beneficial, but um, I think healing for us. And that um, the initial work that was done kept leading into bigger and better things. And, um, and eventually has taken us to this path to where we're at now with the possibility of, of actually getting our coast back.